Guys, 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 guys. What, what is it? The spring musical is Rogers Jr. Shut up. I thought we were doing Urine Town. We were, but then Sarah overheard Chris telling Lacey that Porter said that MTI just released the rights to Rogers Jr., so we're doing that instead. Senior year is ruined. That show has like eight male leads, and we have like four okay guys and Ben. Hey, what's up, you guys? Hi, Ben. I assume you've heard the news. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited. You know, I've been a fan of Rogers since I saw it at the public. What part do you want? Oh, I mean, Cap is a dream role, obviously, but I'd be happy with any of the many male leads. Hmm. Must be nice. What's up? Oh, nothing. Bye, Ben. All right, I'll see you guys at auditions. I'll be the one singing Corner of the Sky. That's not gonna help us identify you, so here's what I'm thinking. I write a heartfelt five to ten page essay to Miss Porter outlining why Urinetown is the better choice of musical for this spring. Thoughts? Well, it might not be so bad. You could still get a part. Rogers only has one female lead. You could totally be Natasha. Natasha's the belter. You think I can hit that G sharp and strike a pose? This is literally worse than being blipped. We were supposed to do Urine Town, and I was supposed to be Hope Cladwell. You could be Hope Van Dyne. Oh, and get one solo line and Shrink or Swim? That'll look great on my reel. Wait, Rogers Jr.? What did they change? Mm, I think they just cleaned up some of Tony Stark's lines. Oh, and replaced Loki's song with a less sexually charged version. Neil before me was sexually charged? Oh, sweetie. Maybe I should just do the play at the Curtain House instead. Community theater? No way. They're doing that weird Brechtian play about what if only five people were left on the planet after the snap. You'd hate it. Come on, just audition, please. Fine. But if Ms. Porter tries to cast me in the Jatari Dance Ensemble, I'm out. Oh, that's valid. Totally. So, how's your dating life been going? Terrible. I think I'm cursed. Austin got blipped right before I was going to say I love you for the first time. Then he came back, found out I had aged five years, never heard from him again. Yeah, well, guys can really suck sometimes. You know, I was talking to this guy a few months ago, thought it was going super well, and then out of nowhere, he just ghosts me. Wait, was this the guy from Hell's Kitchen? No, he's from um, Westview, New Jersey. You know, that's what I get for paying for Tinder Passport, I guess. You know, I don't know what's worse, when they ghost you or when they give you those, like, obviously fake excuses, you know? Like, I was texting with this guy once, he was like a scientist, I don't know, he worked in a lab, and like two hours before our first date, he texts me and says there was an accident at the lab and he wasn't gonna make it. Oh my god. Did he say what happened? No, honestly, I just think he was really insecure about his body. He just kept saying, like, I'm too small to go on this date. And I was like, I don't care, size doesn't matter to me. But he just kept saying, like, no, I'm literally too small to go on this date. There was an accident at the lab. Like, I just stopped replying to him. It seemed like he had his own issues to work out, you know? Tell me about it. I was dating this guy for three months before I found out he was Team Iron Man. Oof, that's rough. Uh, well, what happened to that guy you were talking to? The one who got bit by a spider? Oh, he had to go to the hospital. It was poisonous. He almost died. And? Kind of just stopped texting each other. You ever just wish you could date yourself? No. I feel like that'd be really weird and, like, upsetting to watch. Yeah, you're right. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in. The emergency room is having an especially busy evening. Oh, it's no problem. Apparently a vigilante chased someone through the restaurant where we had reservations and the kitchen was destroyed in the process, so. What do we have? Yes, um, uh, we have a young woman who thought that she could make a 15 foot drop by doing a superhero landing. Broken ankle or broken wrist? Both. And we have a man who's soaked in a vat of radioactive waste. Where do people keep finding these vats of radioactive waste? Uh, folks sell them on eBay now. Yeah, but I actually have a cousin who started. Okay, what else? Oh, yes. Um, this man has several pulled muscles from trying to give his limbs superhuman elasticity. Where did he get that idea from? They get more creative every day, ma'am. Uh, fell off the roof trying to get struck by lightning. Fell off the roof trying to fly. Oh, this one fell off the roof just trying to clean the gutter. Oh, refreshing. Oh, the gutter that is this city. He says he was trying to clean it of crime. Right, so he was trying to. He calls himself the Roof Dweller. Is there one person here who wasn't trying to fight crime or get superpowers? Mm. Oh, we have a man who was poisoned by a spider. You mean the spider was venomous. Oh, no, he dipped the spider in a vat of toxic waste and then he ate the spider. <sighs> okay.